Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and we're going on a mission for Sykes, apparently. Just grab a couple of bits from here. Uh, what's in here then? Any goodies? And the other bit. Come on, and the other bit. 640 weapon parts. How much do I need for the next upgrade, anyway? I don't think it was a huge amount. Um, no, I'll leave it till next time. The upgrade, that is. But, uh, yeah, that's looking good. Right, so I think I'm going in his computer, aren't I? Yep. Experimental wing right. of the marrow. Let's do this before I get cold feet. We're going marrow hunting again. Ah, oh, this bloody loading screen. I don't like this loading screen. Except when it works fast. Then it's quite good. But it does have an annoying habit of being slow. So you're just running with the ghostly images on either side and nothing else is happening. But never mind. Right. Well, a few goodies around at least. More weapons parts. Oh, 740 now. Are they giving us more weapons parts than they were previously? I think they might be. Uh, what's that? Oh, a syringe. Good. Right. Okay, off we go. What have I actually got, anyway? Three rounds for the shotgun. 12 for the pistol. Uh, how's the rifle? 50 rounds. The rifle's not actually that good, which is kind of sad, really. I mean, you'd think it'd be awesome, but actually it's just fast, and that seems to be it. Okay, then. Looks abandoned. Spooky. Just got to take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on. Yeah, but dude, you're in like a hellscape. I mean, well, almost. And you think it's spooky. I mean, come on. Of course it's spooky. Oh, well, it's not that spooky. But you know what I mean. I mean, it's... After all the things that he's experienced in this area, and he says it's spooky. Come on, Sebastian, seriously? I thought I'd drunk some coffee. But apparently, I still don't have full health. Right. Got a zombie to get rid of. Ooh, he's going to come back and get us if we're not careful. Right. Deal with her first, I think. be handy. Okay, there's another one over there. What happened to him? Oh, he's over there now. Oh, shit. Can he get in? Bleh. Plumbing zombies. Ah, it's one of these things again. Press it. Press it. Okay, then. Uh, there we go. It's random shit. Oh, is that not good enough? Huh. Yeah. What? Why is it... not happy with what I'm doing? Oh, that's just weird. Right. Okay, um... Oh, there we go. What a fucking weird thing. Why have I got my torch on? Right. So... Oh, balls. Can they get in? Come on! 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, let's get an instant kill. Uh, yeah, run. Right, okay, so I want my shotgun. Because it's halfway decent. Yeah, roar. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. <sighs> right, run. Oh, for fuck's sake. Run, Sebastian, you bloody wally. Right. One out. Oh, shit. Right, uh, run, 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 run. Right, uh. Okay. Okay, right, I definitely need a syringe. That's something other than the bloody shotgun. Right, so there's some more of them down here. Can I go in there? What the hell was that? Another beastie around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. I think I've got another axe, at least. Where the fuck's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake! He is so slow, I swear, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, now hit her with the axe. Come on, right. There we go. Right. Oh well, at least we're getting lots of green goo. Ah, and using up all our bloody syringes. Right, there was some more green goo up here. Oh, for fuck's sake, how many of you bastards are there? Oh, shit. Um. Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, um... There we go. Oh, that's the bloody assault rifle used up. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with how shit the assault rifle is. I mean, it it fires quick, which is good in a way, but the amount of damage it does just seems really low for for the fact that it's a fucking rifle. I mean, they're basically like pistol shots, and I swear they're weaker than the actual pistol is, like individually. Hmm, another axe. Right, so is that it for the beasties, or do I need to clear somewhere else as well? Maybe there's a boss down here as well that I've got to clear out before I can let Sykes in. Nothing that way. Some dead bodies and things. Right. Alright, ah, that was that door that we... Uh, couldn't get into before. Maybe this is the pod room. This is it then. Better call Sykes. There we are then. Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. 
Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily. And then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. I still don't get this thing with a pod. I mean, surely if that gets him out of Union, then he just wakes up back in the uh, facility in Sta in Mobius. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. So I don't see how that helps, really. Okay, does he turn into a monster or something, or is that it? Oh, there we go. He's gone. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. Hmm. Trevian psychs out. Right. Let's go and have a look in there then. So what have we got? We've got some goodies on the bench. Some shotgun shells, which we definitely need. And what have we got in here then? <laughs> Someone off shotgun. <sighs> Double barrel shotgun. Twice the barrels, twice the buckshot, twice the damage. Light and sturdy, but needs to be reloaded more often. Shotgun clip capacity upgrades do not apply to this weapon. Great. Not really that impressed with that. Another slide. Uh, anything else to grab in here? Is there a bottle there? Yep, a couple of things. Syringe and some gunpowder. Because why wouldn't you have gunpowder in a medical looking facility? Our attempt to use a stem pod as an emergency exit port has been declared a failure. Huh. Despite a 25% success rate, the decision has been made to discontinue research. One in four test subjects made the trip back successfully. The other three simply... ceased to be. We believe that the other 75% have been lost in an uncharted sublevel of STEM. A dream within a dream. From which there is no known way to return. Due to the number of unknown factors... The experiment has been abandoned. 25% chance of success? I'm not going to risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. But uh, it's not too positive, really. Right then, I suppose I'm just heading back this way. Yeah, presumably back to the computer. And then we carry on with the... Uh, the main mission, which was, um, something else. Um, what the hell was the main mission? Oh, we're doing, oh yes, that's it, we're, we're doing something with, uh, with, yeah, we're trying to get the barrier down, aren't we, on, um, uh, Theodore's Fortress that's on fire for some reason. I mean, it looks cool that it's on fire, but it also looks kind of silly, because... I mean, setting your house on fire isn't a good way of defending it. I mean, it might stop people invading, but it kind of defeats the point. Right then. So, have we got a weapons bench in here, or do I need to go back to the, uh... Uh, yeah, may as well. See if we can actually level anything up. Um, and we've got those slides that we can look at. I think we've got at least two new ones. So, weapon upgrades. Right, firepower. Yes, I can get that one now. Good, my pistol is now at maximum. And what can we get here? Still bugger all on that one. Right, oh blimey. Shitloads of stuff I can make, but is any of it worth it? 
Uh, why can I still make these things? How many of those things have I got? Okay, not many. Uh, yeah, those are worth having because that's uh, some ranged explosives are good. Uh, yeah, just one of those. Okay, and right, what else have we got? Um, well, we haven't got any handgun cartridges. We're out of assault rounds. They only take one, but I can only get thirteen. Uh, and it's going to gobble those up really quick. I think we'll go for the handgun then, because even though it's only six, it's a maximum damage, so that's probably the best thing to do there. Right, give me some green goo. Back again, detective? Oh yes, I keep coming back here. You should hardly be surprised. Ah, uh, right. Combat. What can I do here, then? And... Uh, still not enough. What's this, then? Concentrate and slow down time. Oh, that's handy. But it's... Nine... Oh, come on. Seriously? That's ridiculous. <sighs> I mean, how much green goo can they actually have in this place, for goodness sake? 12,000. Oh, fuck it. Right, okay, we'll just leave that for now then. Get some more before we do anything else. And there are a couple of slides, I think, so we could have a look at those. Wow. Oh, and that should get us some more green ge uh, jelly, so that would be handy. Oh, there's only one slide. Oh well. Go on. You around, Kidman? For you, always. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads. Who decided it was something anyone needed? I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for its own twisted reasons. But Lobia saw potential in the technology. Potential to enslave everybody, you mean? Better than having it in the hands of a psycho. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. Yes, but I don't like that kind of attitude because it tends to imply that everybody should be weak so that no one can abuse anyone else. But that just makes everyone a potential victim in waiting. Plus, I mean, any technology that has been developed should realistically be able to be redeveloped by anyone else at some point. And if it's there, someone will probably find a use for it somehow, or somewhere, so... I mean, once you develop technology, the cat's pretty much out of the bag. Okay, is it better? So... What's in... All oh, right, okay. Just wondering where that noise was coming from, but it's just the mirror. Um... Right then. It's a herb, isn't it? I wonder if there's any more of the fire wombles around. Okay, so where do I want to be going? I'm heading that way, I think. Yep, looks like it. So 
So I can't remember what they said about the uh, the stronghold and the uh, the wall of fire that's around it. I'm not sure if we um, are sort of looking for a way to get through, or if they mentioned that there was one. I don't think there is, at least not yet. But I suppose we shall see. There's a couple of exploding blob things over there. Oh great, there's a fire wobble. Yes, here I am, you poxy thing. Why the hell would I want to do that, you lunatic? Right. Well, that is the, uh, the wall. Is he still following me? Yeah, he's over there. Why is he setting fire to a car? Honestly, some people. Okay, so there's a Mobius operative that way. The firewall is still after us. But do we actually want to go and see the Mobius operative? they got anything good? Is it actually worth bothering with? Um, right. Okay. No, there isn't a way through there yet. Oh, it's the hotel I want to go to, not the actual wall. I forgot about that. Right, there we are. Sanctuary Hotel. Oh, how apt. <laughs> the hotel is clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweaks? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, I'm sending you the coordinates. How do you know it's clear? You haven't done anything other than kick the front door in. There could be monsters all in every room upstairs. Here it is. What is it? It's a portable field stabilizer. O'Neill must have been working on it before Theodore changed him. It creates a small area of stabilization that should keep the fire away. How small? Its circumference is about as big as a safe house. Big enough to protect me. Good. How does it work? That's the tough part. It's a prototype, so it's a little temperamental. I have to operate it. Last thing you want is for it to go on the fritz while you're in a wall of flame. I can't let you do that. Right. It's too dangerous. So is staying here if you can't get inside. Besides, I'm sick of hiding. The only way we're going to get through this is if we work together. It's the only way to save Lily. And what if you need emergency psychoanalysis? <laughs> Who's going to help you then? You know just what to say to convince me, Hoffman. Of course I do. I'm the team psychologist. That you are. You might want to prepare for this. Let me know when you're ready to go. Right, so I think we'll just nip back to the uh, Sebastian's room and save it there, and then we'll do this nonsense in the next part. So I suspect what will happen is that she we'll have to protect her as we go through the fire, even though there'll probably be fire wombles everywhere, and then she's probably going to die as soon as he gets through, and yeah, then he's all on his own with fire behind him. That's what I reckon is going to happen. Right, but we'll see in the next part. So thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.